Welcome back to the channel. Before I get started, I'd like to thank my newest subscriber above. Thank you for subscribing to the channel. I'm glad to have you. So here is my largest mini jade. Um, one of my best bonsais that I have. It is June 29th today. And at the beginning of this season, early spring, I made a video where I pruned this um, mini jade back pretty drastically. <clears throat> And it didn't have a whole lot of leaves back then uh, coming out of uh, winter. You can see that it has grown a lot of leaves now in the last two months and maybe two and a half months. And some of the shoots have grown up to four and a half inches, I would say, like right there. And then some of them have only grown about a half inch and everywhere in between. I have some that are three inches. Uh, another one that's about an inch right here. What I'm going to do today is I'm going to uh, give this mini jade another pruning, basically bringing the shoots back down to most of the time to the first pair of leaves. That way it will be more compact. And as I always tell you guys, um, for example, if I was to cut this shoot right here, at this area i would get two new branches one grown from this leaf and one grown from this leaf and so by doing that the tree becomes a lot more compact a lot denser uh canopy uh with better ramification so i'm going to get started you are looking at the front of the tree i'm looking at the back of the tree currently and i'll just start here on the back It's amazing how much growth these mini jades, dwarf jades, uh, do put out in the summertime. Today, it's going to be 100 degrees outside, so I figured it would be a Great day to work indoors on one of my bonsais instead of working outside. So when I'm done today, I would imagine this tree is going to uh, have a lot less leaves on it. But once again, like you saw in the video from a a couple months ago within a month or so this tree will just shoot out with new growth especially going into July and many jades all jades they love the 90 degree temperatures the 100 degree temperatures that's my dog getting a drink of water And you can make cuttings or propagate these cuttings into new J plants. I have a video on my channel showing you how to do that if you're interested. Check that out. And I do recommend um, potting these cuttings in 100% perlite. I did a uh, experiment last year where I planted some jade cuttings, three of them in normal potting soil and three of them in 100% perlite. And all six cuttings lived and grew roots and grew, but the ones that were potted in 100% perlite had about a three times more root uh, root ball when a year later when I pulled them up out of the soil to see how they did. 
and then I uh, there's a video of me uh, myself taking those cuttings and styling them into mammy size bonsai trees so if you're interested in that check that video out also and those trees here in probably a couple more months I'll give you an update on how those mammy trees are doing here's a little hint they're doing great they're starting to grow uh, new leaves because I took all the leaves off of those cuttings when I piled them up into their mammy bonsai pots but they are putting out new leaves and starting to grow all over again. To doing this kind of detailed work, trying to take these branches down to their first pair of leaves takes a little bit longer and it's easy to miss one or 10, but it's worth taking your time and, and doing it because when you're, you're done and the tree starts growing again, the deep canopy will just be breathtaking.
go ahead and turn the tree. So now you're looking at the back of the tree. Now I will say this time of the year, summertime, temperatures being in the 90s and 100 degrees, this tree is growing in full sun and I water it pretty much every single day. Now some people will tell you that jade plants, jade trees um, can go a lot longer in between watering than every day. And that is true, but if you're growing your jade in good bonsai soil, which drains really well, like this soil is here, then you don't have to worry about your jade plant getting root rot in the summertime because there's a lot of aeration into those roots. And with all that watering, the soil doesn't hold much of the water, but the J plant gets water every day, just enough to uh, keep it very healthy, and it would just push growth like crazy, along with fertilizing it, which here in a little bit, I'm gonna give it a little bit extra fertilizer for the year. So, so if you're, Growing your jade bonsais in good bonsai soil in the summertime, you can water them every day or every other day, and they will reward you with amazing growth and vigor. And the tree would just be really healthy. Now the wintertime is a completely different story. That's when you really cut back your watering schedule.
All right, I think that does it. I'm going to give this jade a little bit more of my favorite fertilizer, Osmico Plus. I gave it this fertilizer uh, a couple months ago, two, two and a half months ago when I printed last in early spring. Uh, this fertilizer lasts for about six months, so it's still good, but I'm just going to give it a little extra now that we're going into the heat of summer and the main growing time of the year. And I will give you guys a 300. 60 degree look. So you're looking at the back of it right now. That's the right right hand side of the tree. And now you're looking at the front and the other side. So there you go. There's the tree all pruned up, ready for summertime. Um, I will water this tree again to, uh, here in a few minutes. It will go back outside into its full sun location and it will probably need to be pruned again here in probably another two months. And you'll see how much thicker and denser the canopy becomes because of all that close pruning that we gave it today. So if you have any questions, please leave me a comment down below. I love hearing from you guys. Uh, if you have questions, comments, leave them down below. Uh, please subscribe if you're not already subscribed, and I'll see you in the next video.